I think I want to be an outdoorsman. It looks <laughs> good. I think I'm hanging up the golf clubs. I want to go fly fishing in the Gallatin River. I've never gone fly fishing in my life. Okay. Do you fly fish? Yeah. I heard I heard the way you golf, you should hang it up. <laughs> well, I'm a pretty good. No, wait now. I actually can play some pretty. I shot a 77 today. Would you want to hear it shot by shot? I can go over it for you. What time does practice start? Was it nine holes or? Uh, no, 18. Oh, you know, wow. Listen to you. <laughs> oh, no, no. I was good. I hit a lot of knockdown punch cut. Pedro's. I think I could be a fly fisherman. I really do because we're, we're going up the Gallatin, you know, going up the highway, and there's the Gallatin River. And every quarter mile, there's people in there with the big waders on and hats like this, yeah. and they're fishing on that. That looks, sitting on a boat with a bob or waiting for it to go <laughs> under the water bores me to death. But the fly fishing thing sounds pretty fun. So you do fly fish? Yeah, and you look good in that hat, too, I, by I the way. I do look pretty good yeah, in that. Yeah. Fly fishing, is it really difficult to fly fish? Is it one of those... It's it, an art. It is yeah. an art. Yeah, it's an art. Because it does seem more artistic to, than just fishing. You have to, you know, keep your wrist stiff. And, okay. And you throw it out there and let it come down the river and you roll it back. Yeah. Oh, so you let it come down the river. You're pretty good at it? Uh, it's been a while since I've done it. But yeah. I lived out west for a while, so I've done it a few right. times. Yeah. I, I really think I could be a mountain man. I, I really do. <laughs> I mean, and here's the funny thing. you got to grow a beard. Well, I do. I don't fish. I don't hunt. I don't ski, but I do like the mountains. It was just, it yeah. was invigorating up there. Yeah, I just it's loved nice. It. You were in Wyoming. Yeah, uh, Montana and Wyoming. Montana. We were okay. in Montana yeah. down in Big Sky. And then we went to Yellowstone, which is in yeah. Wyoming, of course. And we had we, 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 we had the Buffalo Herd traffic jam. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're going through. And I, I told my boys, I go, now this is where they are. They're in the grasslands, all the ones. And sure enough, we look, we see two buffalo. They go, oh, isn't that cute? All of a sudden, a herd of literally 50 or 60 of them came down, surrounded our car and all the other cars, and went across the road. But it was great. Yeah. It was a great place to be. Yeah. So I, I liked it. Yeah. The mountains are pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of Buffalo, we don't want to talk about the Buffalo game last year. I know we don't want to do that. Why would I say that? I'm yeah, that, that, that hurts. That's, I'm sorry about that. that I, that's, we're off to a bad start. I don't start think Paul would have done that. No, he wouldn't have done <laughs> that. Definitely would have done now, that. You're gonna, now you're going to be with Paul again. <laughs> uh, we were just talking, uh, Paul and Wabi and, and, and Norda were talking about, we think the Vikings are going to fly under the radar because of last year. I, I disagree with that. I don't think the other teams in the league go, oh, well, the Vikings were 8-7-1. They won't be any good this year. They know the coaching staff here. They know the team. They know the defense. I don't think you're going to sneak up on anybody. I think everybody will be prepared. Would you agree with that? Or are you expecting to fly under the radar because of last year's well, I, record? I, I don't know that you ever do that in the NFL. I mean, all, every team's good. Um, you know, every one of these quarterbacks have won a lot of games in their life, whether it's in college or professional. Uh, so, and, and everybody's got really good players. So it's whoever goes out and plays best of that, that particular Sunday. Yeah. So again, I I don't think people will 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 overlook the Vikings or underestimate them. Is there anything? I know camp's just been early. You haven't even played a preseason game. That's Friday. Is there anything you've seen that really stands out that you like or dislike or things you feel like you need to work on or that you already got figured out? Or well, there, there's a lot of things we need to work on. But um, you know, I was just sitting in in that reason why I'm late. I was sitting in there with Gary Kubiak and we were talking football, watching some tape and talking football, and then. You know, I said to him, I said, you know, I think the offensive line has really gotten better in pass protection since the last time we had our our staff meeting or our personnel meeting. And uh, he said, I, I think so, too. And so that that part has been good. The, I think the, the things they're doing in the running game has been been really good. The defensive players say it's it's very difficult for them. Uh, some of the some of the plays that they're doing and and Kirk's been throwing a deep ball really, really well. So I think it's been a good combination and hopefully, um, you know, put everything together i think we have a chance to be a good football team this offense is it night and day different now than it was last year well is it I, subtle I, changes or i would say it's um yeah it's night and day different okay yeah i would say it's night and day different and uh but it's it's not difficult to run it's it's simple for the players but uh but night and day different you know we're not hardly ever in the shotgun you know especially on first and second down very very rarely um so, uh, you know, there's always a threat of the running game, um, and the running game's been good. And, uh, you know, I think Dalvin's look good. Um, Madison, the young back, I think he's done a nice job. You know, I got this watch, these, this Apple watch, and every time Hagen comes in my office, it goes, breathe. <laughs> breathe. <laughs> he, you know, it's like it's just the heart rate goes up. He comes in, makes me come over and do these interviews. All right, take a deep breath. I like yeah. that. So you like the running game. I mean, because I, 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 tell me if this is, this is what I got figured out. When you run out, the reason the shotgun is because really you can only do one thing out of the shotgun, that's pass. But 
if you are under center, you could pass or run, right? That's why we like it? Well, I think the play actions are much harder when the, when the quarterback's under center. I just look at it from a defensive perspective and what is what is hardest on the defense. And, like, if the back is lined up in a gun, number one, if he's on the right side, the only place he's going 90% of the time is to the left, right? And unless they pull an offensive lineman, um, the linebackers aren't going to be coming up and attacking the line of scrimmage. They're going to be playing a little bit more lateral, and then they can get back and, and protect on play-action pass. The boot game is, you know, the naked game or the boot game uh, is not near as uh, uh, hard to play. Uh, but the things they're doing now offensively is, is pretty darn good. Well, for, 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 the, for the uneducated guy like me that just watches while I'm sitting on the couch, it seems like Cousins isn't the very best at moving around in the pocket and scrambling around, so this would – obviously benefit him then right if he doesn't have the linebackers like you say going shotgun formation let's get up there and we're going to put a lot of pressure on yeah him. well that's part of it but um you know i think i think the other part of the play action pass is because the offensive line is typically blocking uh two guys on one here two on one here two on the other here and you know there might be one on one on the back side uh and the back could be helping on him so the protection is better as well and so once you start getting guys run in to play the play the run and all of a sudden there's a play action pass off of it now the quarterback has more time he can get outside the pocket more you can move him in uh, uh, around the pocket you know we've had i can't i can't count the number of times that the quarterback's quarterback's been out there on the perimeter and standing by the numbers with no one no one around him and have all kinds of days uh, time to throw the football so uh, that part's been really good when you um uh talk about you know pass protection and, and, and block you know the offensive line everybody's been talking about you made you got you got the rookie uh Bradbury, uh, uh, Bradbury uh center Kirk says he's like a veteran CJ Ham was with us about an hour ago and he said the same thing he's like do you see that as well does he seem to be like he's not just a rookie where you're going a kid I yeah. mean put your right hand on the ball when you snap or the left <laughs> hand you yeah, but you actually yeah he, he actually seems like he's a veteran yeah as a matter of fact Kubiak said to me the other day uh he said, you know, if we voted for offensive captain, I'm not sure he wouldn't get some votes. Wow. Yeah. That's saying a lot for a, yeah. a guy that's a They told me you're a comedian, too. I do some stand-up, yeah. <laughs> when, when are you going to tell me some jokes? <laughs> oh, you, oh, I got all sorts of good ones. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm, 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 okay. I've been on your show probably how many okay. times now? I haven't heard one. Don't, okay. don't do the Vikings-related joke from, from two years ago. No, I'm not going to do, do that, that one. one. <laughs> no, you, you won't like that one. And that doesn't get a lot of laughs at the club, either. The one that gets a lot of laughs goes, you know, I was born in Detroit. I was a Lions fan for all those years. You know how we learned to count in Detroit? 0-1, oh 0-2, and 0-3, one, oh and 0-4. Uh-huh. Oh and oh and That's how we learn to count in Detroit. Yeah. That's just part I, of the material. Thing. I got it. Is that one Is that one yeah, of the jokes? Yeah, another one is, yeah, no, that's a joke. Yeah, oh, I got all sorts of good ones. The Viking ones. They, about, you're a stand-up comedian. Yeah, well. stand-up. And they yeah. usually tell me to sit down. Yeah. <laughs> because it doesn't go over Do you get any well. hecklers? Generally not. I mean, we get people oh. that will shout out some of the lines because they know they're coming. I tend to repeat myself a lot. So they know the line before I even say it. But Bob, they, can you get me to one of his shows? I, I will definitely heckle you. Will you? Yeah. Would, would you want to do five minutes? <laughs> you can take the mic and you can do five minutes. No, no, I'm, I'm much better, you know, when you say something and I can say something back. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, He's an improv guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, boy, if I was going to, so I, here, here's one for you. <laughs> here's one for you. I do this one too. I go the, um, you'll like this line. It goes like this. It goes, you know, um, uh, do you tell dirty jokes? Or no, you no, I'm clean. I, no. I, I don't use an F-bomb or anything. I don't use any. So I, I tell the truck, I, I do a lot of sports-related material, and I go, you know, the Twins are really active in the community. They're building parks all over the Twin Cities. As a matter of fact, they just built their first one. It's Miguel Sano Park. There's not much to it. It's just three swings and a bench. <laughs> <laughs> Ba-ba-bum, ba-da-boom, ba-da-boom. It's three swings and a bench. Yeah. So you, you're not making a living at this. No, thing. I'm not. No, I'm not. We don't. We can't even charge much money. You know, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. we're not. We're not yeah. getting rich. This, that's, that's for sure. Yeah, this might be uh, for charity. Yeah, give it, it to the kids. Well, yeah, it, that's good. And the kids need it. I'm, I'm for kids. Did you know there was a there was a politician in the Twin Cities before they built the stadium, the Target Field? You're either for kids or against the stadium, or for the kids, because we couldn't have both, because if we built a stadium, kids wouldn't get any money. I was against kids for the longest time and for the stadium. <laughs> then I was for kids and against the stadium. Then I was against both, and then I thought, we can have both. We yeah. can help kids and have a stadium, and it seems like it's worked out. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's for me. Simple. Yeah. Poli- politics. Simple it is, politics. It is simple yeah. politics, and I try not to get involved in that. So, look at, there's Mark Rosen. There he is. Look at him. The very best. <laughs>
Retired. Yeah, retired. He works well, he's more. He's got more work now. as yeah. a player oh, yeah. now. Oh, yeah. yeah, with yeah. the Vikings. Yeah. That's yeah. right. He's doing some Viking stuff. He's going to be doing uh, uh, the Kirk Cousins show, I guess, starring. It'll be the Kirk Cousins show starring Mark Rosen. That's what yeah. it'll be called. Um, right. Can I ask well, one question? Are you, do, are you doing my show this year? I, w- I would love to. I'm hoping yeah. to. Yeah. yeah. I, I, well, I told I, I told Barrero. Right. That we're, I was definitely doing your show. Yeah. How did he <laughs> react to that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he still wanted me, but I'm, you know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm more partial to you. To uh, uh, and I can tell jokes, and we can do some hunting stuff too. And you can, yeah. you can. I want to be a mountain man now. I really do. <laughs> I want to learn to hunt and fish. Well, you've. Uh, what do you expect? Uh, last thing, what are you looking for on Friday, other than everybody stay healthy? That's probably the most, right? Well, we obviously want to stay healthy, but we want to execute and do the things that we've been. You know, we want to see the things that we've been coaching them to do. If they'll go out there when coaches aren't out there, tell them what to do. Yeah. If they'll go out and they'll go. Uh, work the techniques, work the uh, assignments. And then the other part is because New Orleans might be doing some different things that we haven't worked on, how are they going to adjust during the course of the ball game? Right. Perfect. Good luck. Have fun at practice. Go coach them up. All right. Sounds Thanks. good. Appreciate that. Yeah. Mike Zimmer, head coach of the Vikings.